Good afternoon. So today I am going to be reviewing the Tacticam Solo Hunter Pack as well as the Tacticam 5.0 wide camera. Both of these cameras are Tacticam's version of action cameras. So they have the capability of attaching directly to a compound bow, a crossbow, as well as most rifles. Um, and what's really nice about these cameras right now, actually, our local bow shop here in Clymer, um, Ravelin Hill Archery, I'm sure many of our local viewers are aware of them, are running a special that if you spend over $1,000, you will receive this Tacticam Solo Hunter Pack, complimentary for spending that amount of money at their shop. So pretty much if you go get a brand new bow, because that's well over $1,000, you get a Tacticam Solo Hunter Pack. And in this pack is literally everything that you would need to utilize the action camera. So let's get this opened up and see what it's all about. Okay, so this is the Tacticam Solo Hunter package. Inside of this box is everything that you would need to use the Tacticam camera, um, including chargers, adapters for both rifle and bows. Um, so let's get it open. All right, so it looks like we have the Tacticam itself and it's already inside of the archery stabilizer, excuse me, the bow stabilizer. Super, super lightweight. It's already a little bumped up there just from being in that stabilizer, which is completely metal. So if for some reason you were to drop this while it's inside this case here, that would actually be the stabilizer is protecting the camera itself. Uh, these cameras are 100% waterproof. The Tacticam Solo Hunter Package. Um, this camera itself is a 1080p recording feature. This does not have 4K, but 1080p is more than sufficient for the average hunter. So let's see here. It looks like to get this off here at the bottom, you turn it to unlock. The bottom also has to be on unlock. It's kind of hard to get off there. Now I did already open this up because I've used it a few times just to get the hang of it, but you have your SD port there, which I already put the SD card in just so I can show you how it works. You have the removable battery, and then the UPS, excuse me, USB charging adapter. So in order to charge it, you would have to take off this waterproof cap here. And then this just sits back on. They do twist a little hard, so you gotta kinda work at that to get it twisted. And then always make sure it's locked just to make sure that it doesn't turn off. And then to turn it on, one quick click. And the Tacticam vibrates twice. All of the Tacticams, no matter the version, when you hit the on button prior to recording, it will flash green and then it will vibrate twice. And then to engage the recording feature, you would just hit it one time and your light will turn green. Another neat thing about these cameras, at least we just put it there and uh, pause, so now it will just flash green again. So both the Tacticam Solo Hunter package camera as well as the Tacticam 5.0 have the capability of connecting to a, an app to run as a remote for the camera. Um, so I'll show you how that works. These cameras can pair with both an iPhone, meaning Apple, as well as an Android. So in your app store, you're just going to download the Tacticam Wi-Fi app. And just as a forewarning, while you're in your app store, if you were to just search Tacticam, the first app that pops up is this Tacticam Reveal. That is not the app that you want. That is a cell cam. So you're just going to scroll down until you see Tacticam Wi-Fi and then hit your download. Okay, once you have your app downloaded to pair the camera to your phone to utilize the phone as a remote, you're just going to go in your settings and open up your Wi-Fi. You'll need the camera on, so just push that button one time. You'll feel the vibration and the light will turn green. And then you press and hold the button down for three seconds. And it will flash blue and green on and off. That means it's trying to pair with your phone. Um, it will also vibrate. 
So then you see here the Tacticam Solo Wi-Fi option does pop up, so go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that it's paired to your phone. And then you will come back into your Tacticam app, click Add New Camera. Okay, so now we're back in the app and it's connecting to the camera. So I am seeing directly on my phone what the camera is recording. And it's not actually recording right now either because remember we set this all up in standby mode. So if you wanted to record, you can just hit your red button on your smartphone and it will then pop into the record mode. And if you look here on the screen, just gonna point that up, it is recording right now. But you see up here in the upper left hand corner, you get a recording time button as well as a camera battery life button. So this is fresh out of the package, so I have not charged the Tacticam yet. Um, so we are running pretty low on battery. But from your smartphone, remember this is a remote for the camera, so you can toggle in between record and then stop record, as well as your camera options. So we're still seeing the view from the camera. Um, we're in video, so we could switch that over to photo if we wanted to. Um, we'll just take a quick photo just to kind of show you how this works. And this is 1080p quality, so it's not 4K, but it's still pretty darn good. So we're just taking pictures right now through our smartphone. And if we wanted to review those, we can just click on our mountain feature here. And this shows us every video or picture that we have taken with this specific camera. All while the camera is still recording. So if we wanted to stop that, we'll just push that one time, one quick push, and you see it stopped recording. And if you wanted to disconnect your smartphone as the remote, you would exit out of that. And then that closes your remote. <clears throat> and if you wanted to power your camera off, you can press and hold your record button for five seconds. Now, while the camera's still on, like I mentioned before, you'll see the solid blue light turn on when it's connected to a smartphone um, through Wi-Fi. So to turn this off, you just push and hold for five seconds and then release, and it goes through one long vibration that took us out of the Wi-Fi mode. Push and hold again for five seconds. It's two long vibrations, and then the light shuts off and your camera is off. So it's a pretty nice little camera here. Um, so in the box, you do get the USB charging cable, a lens cloth, a protective case, and then what's really nice about this Solo Hunter set um, is you do get the adapters for both a rifle scope here and then a crossbow arm here. Now that is included in the kit. So just as a reminder, this is the Solar Hunter package. And this is valued at um, roughly a little over $100. But if you spend $1,000 at Ravelin Hill, you get this complimentary. So just keep that in mind if you're in the market for a new bow. Just tell Daniel, hey, we heard about you on KEO Vlogs. I heard you have a special going. I'm here to buy a new bow, and I also want a Tacticam. <laughs> and he would be happy to hook you up. Um, so I just wanted to show you real quick to the other camera that we did end up pur purchasing additionally. Um, just because there's two of us, we figured why not try them both. Um, this is the Tacticam 5.0 wide camera. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go. Now the main difference between these two cameras um, first of all, with the 5.0 wide, although it is better recording quality, this does record in 4K, which is a nice little option. Um, it does not come with every adapter that you would need. So if you already previously had bought the um, solo cam, you would have every adapter. They do fit seamlessly, so I'll show you. So this is a solo cam and the stabilizing arm for a bow. Um, so on the bottom here, I'll show you. It's just a little screw um, and you tighten it in just to hold the camera in place. Otherwise you can unscrew it and it just loosens up. On the bottom of all of the Tacticams, there's this little ridge, which it's kind of hard to see on here, but um, that screw, I don't know what the technical term is, the screw end, uh, holds that camera in place. So this is the solo cam and then this is the 5.0 wide camera. 
So again, you just slip it right in there, make sure it's aligned. Um, there's a spot here at the top so that you still have access to your recording button and you just twist that nice and tight and it's in there. So that works really nice. Um, both of these cameras, well, excuse me, any of the Tacticams do have a battery life of two and a half hours record time if they are fully charged. Um, when these cameras are in standby, they do have an automatic shutoff after three minutes of being in standby just to preserve the battery. So if you had this hooked up to your rifle or to a crossbow or a compound bow, um, they would automatically shut off. The 5.0 wide camera does still have the capability of going into the Wi-Fi mode via your smartphone. The only major difference um, that I have really seen outside of the recording quality is that the 5.0 wide camera does have the capability of recording in regular 4K like I explained earlier. It has the five times zoom, as, or excuse me, the three times zoom as standard, but it also has the option of recording in five times zoom and eight times zoom as well as slow-mo recording. Now the only downfall is that you would have to switch through the recording modes so, um, for example, if you were archery hunting and you had a buck coming in, maybe at that point in time, you would want to switch over to a slow-mo just so that you can see your shot placement. Um, these cameras do have impeccable quality with stabilization features. Um, they've just upgraded all of their software. So that's one big push that these cameras have that they came out with last year, I believe they did that upgrade. Um, but we will try to put that to the test at some point in time. Um, I do not shoot with a stabilizing extended arm on my bow, so that would be up to Clifford. But all in all, I think they're really nice cameras. They, like I said, run for two and a half hours. They're completely waterproof. They are shockproof. And they do have um, blackout modes if you are somebody that gets a little apprehensive about any lights in the woods while you're hunting, whether it be rifle hunting or archery hunting. You can throw these cameras into blackout mode. Um, the solo cam... You cannot, but the 5.0 wide, you can throw into blackout mode. So any on off feature with the camera, it would be um, indicated just through the vibration feature. So none of your lights would come on here. Um, unfortunately with the solo cam, you do not have that option. But all in all, they're really nice quality cameras. Um, the only thing that you would need in addition to the camera itself to get yourself started with the solo hunter package is a USB card and conveniently Daniel does have these in the bow shop so um, when you get down there and spend that thousand dollars you get and get your Tacticam he has the card right there for purchase as well um, if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below otherwise um, you can also just look up the Tacticam right on your Google search engine or um, whatever engine that you use thanks for watching